Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this question, we're going to find the value of x that satisfies 4 to the power of x plus x equal to 0. If you can solve this question, you can do that in the comment section below before I do. 1, 2, 3, go! In questions like this, we use the lambda w function. But in this case, I'm not going to be using the lambda w function. Instead, I'm going to be showing you a trick known as the exponent manipulation to solve it. So the first step will be for us to move x to the right hand side. So we have 4 to the power of x equal to, as x crosses, it becomes negative x. Now notice that 4 to the power of x will always be positive. That means the left hand side is positive. Now notice that the right hand side is negative. But the right hand side will only be positive when the value of x is negative. So we can assume that x is negative. So let's put this at the back of our mind. So now let's separate the variables by multiplying the exponent on the left and on the right by 1 all over x. So I have 4 to the power of x on the left. So I'll multiply the exponent by 1 all over x. This is equal to, I have negative x on the right. I'll also multiply the exponent by 1 all over x. Now see that this x and this x cancels out, leaving behind 4 to be equal to the right hand side, we have negative x raised to the power of 1 over x. Now, this is where we apply the trick, exponent manipulation. So, I'll take the exponent, which is 1 all over x, the exponent 1 all over x, and I'll say, let this be equal to negative m. Now, to know what x is, we take the inverse of both sides. So the inverse of 1 all over x is x. This is equal to the inverse of negative m is negative 1 all over m. And if I multiply both sides by negative, we have negative x to be equal to 1 all over m. Now let's substitute this back into our original expression. So we have 4. So this is 4 equal to negative x. Negative x from here is 1 all over m. So I'm going to be putting 1 all over m. And this is raised to the 1 all over x. So I'm going to be raising this to the 1 all over x, which we substituted to be negative m. So I'm going to be putting negative m in place of that. Very good. Now, this is 4 equal to, this is an inverse of m. An inverse of m, an expression like this can also be written as m to the power of negative 1. It is still the same thing. And this is raised to the power of negative m. So simplifying for that, 4 will be. Now, we're going to be applying the law of indices here as we use this power to multiply this power. So we have m as the base. Now let's multiply the two powers. Negative 1 times negative m will give positive m. Very good. So we know that 4 is same as 2 squared. And this is equal to the right hand side, m to the power of m. And when you compare the left hand side and the right hand side, we see that m is equal to 2. Now let's come back here where we have this expression in order to get x. So x would then be negative 1 all over m, which we have has 2. Very good. And this is our final answer. Now let's check. So let's check. Now remember our answer. We got x to be equal to negative 1 all over 2. And we're going to be substituting this into the left hand side of the equation to see if we have 0 as the result. So we have 4 to the power of x. x is negative 1 all over 2. That is what we have. Plus x. x is negative 1 all over 2. So simplifying further, an expression with a negative exponent suggests an inverse. 
That means this expression can also be written as 1 all over 4 to the power of 1 over 2. Now, plus times minus is minus 1 all over 2. Very good. Now, this becomes 1 all over 4 is same as 2 squared. And this is raised to 1 over 2. So, I'm going to be raising this to 1 all over 2. Minus 1 all over 2. Now, notice that from indices, this 2 and this 2 can cancel out, leaving behind 1 all over. Now, 2 to the power of 1 is 2. Minus 1 all over 2. Now, say something. 1 all over 2 minus 1 all over 2 is 0. And this is equal to the right-hand side. So our value for x equal to negative 1 all over 2 is the final solution. Now you can see that we've been able to solve this question without the use of Lambert W function. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.